For weeks, we've been seeing media reports regarding conditions in the Colorado River Basin, specifically with regard to our country's largest reservoirs, Lake Powell and Lake Mead, which have dropped to record low elevations. The media have been reporting it accurately. The Colorado River Basin has been in a prolonged drought, exacerbated by climate change. We are experiencing the driest conditions in the Colorado River Basin in more than 1,200 years, and these conditions are expected to continue well into the future. Both Lake Powell and Lake Mead are approaching critical elevations and will require unprecedented management actions to protect infrastructure in both the upper and lower Colorado River basins. Protecting infrastructure protects water supplies. Lake Powell and Lake Mead operate conjunctively. That means that the operations of one affect the other. The system is designed to work so that runoff originating in the upper basin fills Lake Powell, and Lake Mead is filled by releases from Lake Powell and intervening flows below Glen Canyon Dam. Operational uncertainty has become a watchword for Lake Powell. Lake Powell is at 24% of capacity, the lowest since it was first filled. At this juncture, Lake Powell's elevation requires immediate protective actions. This year, Glen Canyon Dam will be releasing about 500,000 acre feet less than was anticipated to Lake Mead. Lake Mead and the lower basin still have the ability to recover this water but it will be left in Lake Powell to protect that reservoir. Lake Mead is also at record low levels, but the infrastructure is not currently at risk. For Arizona, that would mean a 592,000 acre foot shortage, as compared to the 512,000 acre foot shortage in 2022. That means less water for cap water users.